nothing unites like the need for sleep on National Napping Day. One third of all Americans don't get enough sleep, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The only thing that makes sense about the annual return to daylight savings time, with its pathetically inappropriate spring forward slogan, is that it's followed by National Napping Day. Given that clocks were supposed to move ahead an hour at 2 a.m. Sunday, March 12, that means National Napping Day for 2017 falls on Monday, March 13. The observance clearly has struck a chord with sleepy people everywhere because Twitter posts bearing the hashtag number National Napping Day are popping up too fast to read. Getting enough sleep isn't just a nice hobby to pursue, it's a question of public health, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Insufficient sleep is associated with chronic diseases and conditions such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, obesity, and depression and is also responsible for vehicle crashes and machinery accidents, the CDC reports. More than one-third of American adults say they routinely get too little sleep, the federal agency found in its first-ever nationwide study of self-reported amounts of shut-eye. The results were published in February 2016, but there's nothing to suggest the picture has improved much, or any, since then. Getting a good night's sleep is also a matter of productivity. According to a study by Rand Europe released in November, sleep deprivation costs the world's economy $411 billion a year, Fortune magazine reported. National Napping Day dates back to 1999, when Boston University professor William Anthony and his wife, Camille, created the occasion to highlight the health benefits of adequate sleep. We chose this particular Monday because Americans are more nap-ready than usual after losing an hour of sleep to daylight saving time, William Anthony said at the time. Admittedly, American culture doesn't strongly encourage napping, especially at work. But recent movement in the Texas legislature toward year-round standard time lends support to the idea that anything is possible.